Hey, Danny Fresh here with uh, another little tutorial go through with the um, Chamber of the Vengeful, not toying around, elf off the handle deal. So, um, with this battle, it's just uh, understanding um, what the mechanics are, like timing wise and everything like that. Um, there's several turns in which. Um, it's going to be dangerous, uh, and then just prepping for that as far as it goes. Um, first two turns, nothing, but turn three, turn five, seven, ten, um, at least I can be off the top of my head, are going to be like real bad turns as far as that, so you want to be prepped for that. So, uh, team I got here, I'm using lightning as the magic tank, I mean, um, substitute your own, whatever, but um, try to get enough like, you know, hit points, spirit, but also, I have 160, um, really you only need like a hundred you should be able I'd start fried with everybody at a hundred but I well actually just because turn three is that uh, we're gonna get hit a little bit with everybody so I uh, just want to prep for that as far as that goes so uh, there's some of the equipment um, just showing what I have you know to get her going as far as that um, I haven't used Galoof um, yet for passive provoking and I gave him a uh, thousand needles. I don't think it's gonna affect anything, but he definitely has enough, you know, wind resist as far as that goes. But he's also on um, Tetris um do bar aeroga for everybody. Um, so there's that. Um, he's not gonna have like a whole lot to do as far as that. Um, so. There you go. Um, Steadfast uh, Soldier Machina. You know, I'm going to equip him. Let's see. I think I can do this. Um, give him an ice weapon. Maybe to get some um, limit burst crystals. Um, as far as that goes. Um, but he's just going to be breaking. He's not really, like, there for damaging. You can build, probably build him for damaging if you're doing, let's say, uh, your BS chains and stuff like that. So... Um, you know, he's got a hundred wind resist. You can throw more things on him if you want. Um, Sylvie, she's gonna be help with like um, buffing and things like that. Um, she can debuff in a pinch if need be. Um, and then I'm gonna try to get her limit burst up by um, turn three so that, um, and again, 120 resist. Um, get her limit burst up to, uh, by, by the. Uh, uh, turn three, so it's a little better wind resist. We'll see. I think it's only 75, though, really. Yeah, it's only 75, and the other one's 70, so. Um, I don't know. I can't remember if it's, like, non dispellable or whatever. Yeah, but it gives us other stuff. Um, so. Also, I, I awaken her abilities to give us a little extra on some things. I think one of them will give you, like, non dispellable defense and spirit uh, buff as well. She also has Bushido Freedom. Um, I'm going to try to pull that off at uh, after turn 3 because turn 3, um, the dude summons another elf and he does um, 150 win uh, in peril to your team and that's what you got to debuff. That's just going to make things a lot easier down the road because um, especially he's going to do like non-elemental magic damage to everybody as well too um ace going to be our damage dealer give him enough uh, spirit slayer and wind resist as far as that goes um i mean i do did get lucky as far as getting gifted sorcerers his knowledge is that really really helps out to keep uh stats up and stuff like that so just uh brought another friend unit um they're not necessarily exactly geared i mean they have 30 wind resist it's not Great. Um, he's going to take a bit of damage. We hope we don't not hit that and die. Um, as far as that goes, um, so we'll give it a shot and see where we go here. Um, the other reason Ace is really good in this fight is because um, he can do his healing and auto revive, just in case like um, things go boo boo. Ah, sorry, I forgot to mention this about as far as that goes. Aloof. Um, he has. Uh, Griever, Lone Lion, Lion uh, Awaken. This will cure your status ailments, uh, especially like Confused, and you do need uh, Smelling Salts um, as far as that. So, 
Yeah, so we already used one of those over there. We do need to, um, or you can have them on Phoenix, but you gotta buff up a little bit more on the wind resist as far as that. So let's get in on this. I think we'll just um, cover and boost um, spirit and fill rate for Sylvie. Let's just do that. Um, we'll put the wind resist on everybody just in case we forget. Step this machina. Um, I think the only thing is, um, yeah, we'll just, um, do the attack and magic uh, deal there. He can dispel and reapply the bus as well, too, um, which is nice. Yeah, Sylvie, we'll just give a good buff to everybody. Um, oh, I didn't do the, uh, physical, even though I don't think we really need that. Um, we'll do magic mitigation, and then every five turns um, that you're doing of ice damage to him, he'll uh, do a sprinkle of magic, or he'll, no, no, he'll, I think he does that, and um, stop, so you want to prep for that. Um, we'll have to do that a little later. Um, do the defensive spirit as well, too. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get our aces going. We're going to go ahead, of course, we're going to imbue with ice, boost his magic, and then, um... Oh, you know, we'll, we'll boost his magic a little bit later, um, because we need the ice. But we're also going to do burst and HP charge. I think that would... You know, we'll do that to the friend unit, so we can increase damage on mine. Attack him and burst. So our friend unit, God willing, if they don't die, um, freeze, burst, HP charge, and, yeah, just setting up Chaos Wave to, you know, change finicky, so that's why I use my little app here. Um, you know, I take it back. Let's, let's do it on my ace, because I don't want, uh, because just in case the other one doesn't die, so freeze, burst, HP charge, and then we'll just power him up. There we go. Boom. I mean, you could get um, someone to attack, uh, cut cards as far as that later on if you really need that. But so everybody's not going to take um, any damages, but especially since we use Bararoga, um, friend Ace would be fine as far as that goes because they're at 100% right now. Alright, so let's just get back to damage again here. So with mine, we're gonna go um, attack hand now, boost on that. Um, Terra, do that. And then we'll triple. I don't think we need to do anything else right there. So we can just do triple Terra burst. And he is still broken. This is the reason why you want to like maybe uh, dispel him because he has boost resistance and spirit reduction. And that's where Machina can come in and do stuff. Um, we'll just do it just because. Just to show you enfeeblement. And... Oh, slash, slash. So we definitely need his attack and that he's broken just in case. So, good. And we can reduce the spirit, you know, more later if anything. So let's go ahead and do some damage. Nice, nice damage. So, uh, going over the missions here, um, I forgot to mention that there's a lot going on in this fight. Evoke Esper, fine, not a problem. We can do that, you know, with one of the other support units. Um, five limit bursts. Okay, so the problem is using limit bursts that he'll do deal extra damage as far as that. So I'm, actually, I might not do that with Sylvie, but we'll see what happens because three um, turn three is a big damage deal situation. Um, every time you use a limit burst, he will use sprinkle magic, and that will hurt everybody. You can't cover that, so that's the challenge of one of this fight. And clearing it without being killed, you have to do it in three turns. So it has to be like set up a la Dark Visions. And you have to like uh, kind of one shot him. But we're just doing the uh, tried and true method here. Um, and I'll just refresh recover. Not really doing much anything. 
by Roga again, whatever. And Sylvie, just do her Sylvie thing. Um, Sass element. Defensive spirit barrier, even though we don't need that. Um, oh, that's a magic negation. I didn't boost up, but it could have been helpful. Yeah, that would help out, light me out a little bit better, so if that goes. So, first two turns, good for setting up and getting, you know, ready for the onslaught. Yeah, I'm not going to use uh, Sylvie's Limit first on turn two here because it's. We're already going to get hurt already, so um, I don't want to take any chances. Um, anyone dying, lose their stacks and stuff, so right, we're good with the damage here. And, you know, and then else here what else has to do? You just do double. Maybe triple. One, two, three. Um, See, so yeah, I need to put on his boost spirit reduction again, so that's fine. Um, I mean, we could, um, just do that, and do his awakening so that, um, he can triple cast so he can get all that stuff into place, whichever, however. Let's just, uh, set off some damage here. I got some sparks in there. Um, there is a 50% threshold will hold you sprink, uh, sprinkle of magic. So if you time it on the right turn, then you know you want to get much damage. Mm. Again, just kind of refreshing stuff. Um, not that we need to remove any of that right now. Um, just waiting because then after we get the. Um, Um, I'm gonna defend Lightning, she's still covering, so that's fine. And. Not just gonna do anything. Um, defend Lightning just make sure that she doesn't die, you can, with everything so I couldn't close quickly. There's the Ash, he does the Queen Debuff, he healed himself, that's unfortunate. Um, as you can see, the Ace Friend took a lot of damage if. If in the event we did take, um, if we did that Lumen Burst, I think he would have been dead. Um, so, it's good that we didn't do that. Um, so we then, we buffed ourselves and then we couldn't dispel, but we could dispel us. But, we do need to do Bushido Freedom on us, unfortunately, and then we'll get back up in there. Um, One thing, uh, to get a cover back. And... Who's defense is for everybody? Dude, we'll just put the... Um, we are going to do bar a rogue for a friend unit because they're win uh, they don't have winners. So we don't want them to die. We do need to break a uh, homeboy up here. He's still broken. The spirit isn't. It's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, so we're going to do reduce attacking magic. Um, we'll do the infilment. And then we could reduce the spirit. So we're just going to have to switch over really quick as far as that goes. And we activate it. I mean, it's a little tricky, but you could do it. So it still breaks some of all the stuff. Yeah, so we're good. And his, at least his attack and magic is broken. We don't really want to kill this one. We're, not, we're single target anyway, but as long as his attack and magic is broken. Um, and then, uh, let's do a bit more damage, because then we can do the uh, jackpot trying. Get better charge. 
And then Ace is gonna be healing us up, even though we're like not at a position where we're really. Because um, now he's gonna do like magic that's um, that's gonna hurt a little bit. We'll sandwich it. I like to sandwich it. Just that bad. Yeah, exit burst. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Almost forgot. We dispelled everybody uh, ourselves, so we need to do the ice and view so we can do damage. Ice, exit. Oh, stop, stop. We I need mean, triple. We I need mean, ice back again. Ice, exit, beta. Almost forgot about that. That jackpot is not going to go anywhere. Um, ice. Wait till we can burst down. Yeah, almost forgot about that, because then we won't do any damage at all. There's no point to it, so boom. And there we go. Back to doing some damage. And then now the Petit Charge is uh, giving us like the auto revive, so just in case we take some damage. Somebody wants to do some to dies. Lightning should be okay on this. Yeah, turn four, nothing really happened to us. Okay, so we got some of our stats back here and stuff. So keep in mind that the other the other elf um, has a rotation as well too. So turn seven for both of them um, does have a big damage dealing. So turn seven, we're gonna get hit with something. Turn ten is gonna be his turn seven, so we're gonna take damage there. Um, turn five right now, where I think we're gonna need a sprinkle of magic in the stop um, situation. So that's why we're gonna need the stop resistance. Um, oh, but I think it like dispels. So our um, we'll probably have to cast it again. I think is what's gonna have to happen. Um, well, we have magic mitigation up, and. Just make sure we have our barriers up and stuff as far as that goes. Um, we really don't need to do anything. Whatever. Um, we're done. The roof. I don't know if that will do anything. So, homeboy down here is still broken. He's still fine. We don't have to worry about his spirit reductions. We can still like reapply the break if we really wanted to. Since we have three times active on there. Yeah, I'm not worried about him. Um, just as long as his attack and magic is broken. Um, so we could do that. We can remove attack, defense, get the good stuff on him again, just in case. I don't know if I'll pay for the 50% threshold. Um, if we do, we might take a little extra damage. Um, we'll see. Again, we'll just uh, do some more. Um, I'm uh, Ace is kind of flexible, and I like in that regard where you could, you know, um, you know, put the attack hand on there so you can charge up, you know, however. I mean, you have lots of different things you can do, but I don't know what kind of damage we're going to deal here. If we happen to push the 50% threshold, yeah, I guess we're going to do that too. So, we're going to get hit with some scene stars. That's, oh, too. So, he did it to everybody. We should have had, like, maybe better bench mitigation up as far as that goes. So stop resisting him because that seeing star is kind of messed up. Um, other ace went down. Um, we have one more turn on the cut cards. We can do that in order to get him back up and running again. Um, seeing stars, I think it was like a non coverable magic. And so if we're not hitting this top guy, we don't have to worry about that again as far as that goes until later on. So we're going to remove the stop. We should we need to heal up people and um, let's do defense and spirit therapy again. He's still conf 
confused. It's fine for now. Um, the other ace might die again. Turn six is a safe turn right now, but we've lost. I don't think we're gonna push it. We could push a threshold um, on this turn. It could help, but since we're kind of charging up, let's do that. Back to square one again. The cards is not available yet, so we got freeze. Cover. If you had the ability, you could also throw her ability on to put up barrier for people, but Zillies are doing that, so it's not a big deal. Um, good defense. I think we already did that for everybody after we got raised. Um, and then he's still flying on breaks. We need to break his attack and magic soul this time. We'll just switch between the two, whichever. Boom. Yeah. When the person aren't going to be working out, it's great. It's great for right now. Um, wish I had glue so I can put the wind resist. We might lose the ace again. That's why it's good to have somebody who has some good wind resist, but. I guess so we could have memorized that too. Oh, it looks like we. Yep. That's the 50% So the other ace might die again. That's why we are using the Petter charge. It's like our fail safe right here. So as it goes. Um, yeah. So we took damage on this turn just because we pushed the threshold as far as that goes. So my things might go a little bit better as far as it goes. But yeah, um, getting close there to the lightning. Again, that's only because we push that threshold. Now this is going to be big damage as far as it goes. So we're going to make sure the covers. And we're going to put one of her. Um, we'll just, just do that. Um, we're going to put her magic mitigation up so that um, she can survive. Because she's going to take a hit for everybody as far as that goes. So now, yeah, turn seven is the dangerous turn. So now. Um, hop into battle. We'll do that for Ace. Because we need to get like triple cast back up and running again. And then do. No, we don't need to do that because we have. We'll just get, get her. No, we need to heal up a little bit more. So we'll do this goal. Um, put Bar Roga since the other one died. He's going to. I don't want him to die again. They're all still broken. His defense is a bit broke. Oh, another turn, it's fine. But since we have it available, I think we'll just do that. Um, yeah, his waking looks good for another turn, so we can do Feebleman. We'll get his thing open again. So we'll just do that. Yeah. Get a good heal. Um, shoot, that's not gonna be enough for uh, lightning over there. She needs more HP. So, since you died, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make sure she's healed up because this is gonna be a big damage turn. So we didn't have the healing that we needed. I'm still gonna continue on with this ace, except that. Uh, Taking a little bit of damage on them, so all our toys going to us. That was a damage. See if I didn't heal, I should have gone. Dunzo. Definitely. Yeah, big, big, big damage on this turn. Everybody. 
So yeah, you can bring in like let's say Folka that can heal and give you some magic, you know, mitigation as well too. So healing is you know um, kind of a whatever factor. Even if you have like Pod and Cecil, he can help seal on this. So turn eight should be okay. Well, we're not attacking the, guy, the top guy. If it was the fifth turn, hitting him with ice damage, then um, he would hit us and stuff. I, mean, I think we've hit him a couple of times with Machina, so I mean, there is an issue that um, we'll need to re-break him soon, that he'll do damage to us. It's hard, you just gotta keep track of those rotations on there. Uh, he still do things three times, so we'll just um, use attack, attack, and awaken. So we'll just switch between the two here. Um, Not that I've heard him every turn, but okay, lightning. That'd be nice. Nice if we had some. You know, I'll just defend for you right now. Even too, if you even had a passive provoker that had some kind of healing as well too, you could do that. Triple the fun. Heal. Instant Spirit Barrier, and reduce Magic Mitigation, yeah, sure, there we go, you're not doing much, and we gotta continue back in on doing this stuff, except at, uh, only three, what else does he have available? Not jackpot. So exit or exit. He still has ice. We, I think we were good last time. So now I think we need to get him back up and running again. Yeah, just do all those. Keep doing damage on this bad boy. Still putting that re-raise on us just as a safety net as far as that goes. Now oh, we got hit with a sprinkle on magic, so that sucks. So it looks like, yeah, turn 8 we got hit with that, so... Um, turn 9 should be a relatively safe turn as far as that goes. Yeah, having Sylvie be the unofficial healer on this, though it's not great, so... Oh well. Just making sure it keeps going. Healed up again. Turn 9, safe turn. Just make sure it covers up. I don't know if we need that, just put that back up. Okay, so I think we lost something on him. Alright. We're about to. Defense of Spirit. He's still broken. So turn 8, yeah. Looks like we got hit with stiff. And breaks could be, you know, you could do a little bit better breaks with, let's say, like Vaughn or Riku, maybe. Um, you would end up taking less damage. Let's put all of them on him. And go back into rotation of uh, damage. And we attack him. I keep hitting twin, and this is annoying. X, uh, let me Do the tag. What's up, head down? And we'll do... Is it, this is the tag, yeah. No, you use it last time. And you should be ice and beauty, right? Just gotta keep checking, make sure everything's all good. Alright, more damage with this guy. Slowly but surely we're getting there. And then every three turns, it, like, he tries to resummon. So that's why it's like, what's the point of, like, trying to kill him if, um... If he's just going to keep re-summoning, so it's obviously keeping him alive will um, 
just to ensure that you're not getting messed up. So this is going to be a big, big uh, damage turn here, turn 10, because it's the top guy's turn to do um, all our toys belong to us. So I'm going to get ready for that. Um, we actually don't need to heal. Magic mitigation for everybody else. Undispellable. Buy a little bit here. Mm, it's all broken. We can go one more turn. I just want to make sure I get hit with anything, so. I don't want to attack the top guy because I'm not ready for extra damage as far as I go. I'm going to just reapply everything. And again, ace for the win as far as getting all his stuff ready. So he's got a jackpot on there, so let's do that. It's a jackpot. And Peta. Other dude, he hasn't died yet. The phone's acting up a little bit, I think. He's still in view. He's got jackpot, so let's try to get some damage in here. There we go. Chain again. Alrighty. Damn, hit hard, hard. Even having that barrier up um, still hurts a bit. But ha making sure that you, you know when these big damage dealing turns are going to come up. Um, can't remember after turn 10 here. I did take some notes. Let, let's take a look here and see. I'm going to. All right, so turn 11 is a safe turn, it looks like, and 12 minor damage. So 11 and 12, we can try to get rid of this guy here soon. And he keeps healing himself up, so this is annoying as crap. Um, actually, how are we doing? Ice and view, we're good. Ice and view, good. Gotta keep checking, make sure everything's good. So, we have, let's do attack, XA, XA. And he sort of broke AF. Yes. And let's see what damage we can deal. I'm trying to do it in the next two times if we can do that. We get 29 and we get 11. Ugh. So we're gonna have to prep for a little bit of damage. Was it on turn 13 there? Um, he's sprinkle, so we're probably gonna get hit with something maybe. Alright. Let's do a buff for everybody to get the triple back into play. Do we need healing? Yeah, let's do healing. There's not a lot of damage going on, so we're okay. You're still broken, right? You're so broken. I'm just going to. If he has awakening, no, he doesn't. Um, I haven't really looked at his other abilities, so. so. Do some. Do this. Just magic taken. Is it just for himself? Oh, shit, sure, let's put magic up there, everybody. Just because, and you're so good on coverage, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna de defend just in case. I, I think turn 11 should be a safe turn. Yeah, now my game is running real slow. For what reason? I don't know. Well, it looks like we did take some damage. I don't know why, but... I'm 
we're okay though, still. Keep a back up, and sort of a heel. Yeah, no, triple. Booster attack. Let's hit that out, uh, because I think he still has one more. One more turn of ice. I'll try to push as much damage as you can here. Uh, you might have been dead by now, but um, just depending on you know how your other ace is set up as far as that goes. So here we go. Get that damage in. Just um, do a round of breaking on him. And the other one, oh, he needs to be broken as well too next turn. And I don't think he'll have the whatever the awakening shoot. So. Yeah, we can re-break him next time, so we'll do attack, enfeeble, attack, and attack, because we're going to do it on both. Uh, we might get hit with something from the top guy, with some stop, and it might suck, but we'll see. Okay, we did it. We got the brakes back in there, and again, we might get hit with something. Turn 14, I know it's going to be a bad turn. And Sylvie. Do a little bit of heal. I don't know if this is going to help us. And make sure the defense is good, so that. They hit the summon because you suck. Every third three turns it does that. Yeah, 12 is a good save turn, but um, he needs to reinvent you into ice. Well, hopefully, I I'm, I'm really want to try to kill this guy on this next turn. Just not annoyed with dealing with all the crap. Okay. Let's get back to my action. No, twin. Every freaking time I keep hitting that. We don't have jackpot, so. That's the exit. Head on. Oh no, we gotta re imbue his ice. Biscuits. Ice. Exit. Head on. Only he has to re imbue, so. He's going to do some damage. Do you have any, uh, anything else up? No. Okay, so we'll just do triple X and just hope for the best on this one here. Boom, let's go send it off. Alright, so we don't have to worry about the um, all your toys belong to us from him. So now we can just focus on this main guy, uh, this guy up here, and try and think in all the rot rotations. Remember, he's summoned up on turn three, so like this is his turn ten, which he might do like a sprinkle of magic, he might, you know, be upset about some things. He will heal himself, he is a lot, um, let's say enfeeble, do his attack and do and do awakening. Um, fire Rogue, just in case. And you're still covering. And so. This is defend, just in case, whatever. Sylvie. You don't need to heal. Um, 
using up a lot of her MP. Yeah, let's we'll just consume her own HP. Why not? Edge mitigation. Good. And stop production, whatever. And this is where you can use all your limit burst. I'm not going to do it here, but you can sit here for the most part all you want. This guy, yeah, you're a sprinkle man, dude. Oh, oh, there he's died. Great, fantastic. And we didn't have our. I guess we could have had like a better magic, magic mitigation up for that, as far as it goes, but eh, whatever. See, with a sprinkle of magic, it's good to have your whole team, as far as having magic mitigation. Maybe a point I failed to mention, but you still have. Ice and beer, right? Yeah. And I think it's because we hit him five times with magic, that's why he gave us the sprinkle of magic and he did all that bull crap. Um I can just leave Warrior gone like that. And you have I think a jackpot triad, so we'll just boom. Mm, jackpot. Okay. You died. Oh well. Triple spell. We're going to view the ice attack hand and burst. So this guy goes down nice and easy. If he doesn't heal himself the next turn, I don't know any exact rotation on that, so... Um, but... He does need some wind resist just in case. We do need to restore it to his integration. I guess we could have done that with um, Homeboy over here. We'll just put up whatever. If he's attacking him, he's going to go. And we should still be covering it. I don't care. Let's put you know, magic integration up just in case. It's his turn 11, so I don't think anything crazy is going to happen. Yeah, Corey. It's fine. Because, as you saw, this guy's kind of squishy anyway, so... I mean, you can take turns to take a break with Machina if, you're, if you don't have enough MP, if you're not getting that back, or heal, however. And he's still broken. Yeah, for one more turn on the spirit, so we'll definitely take advantage of that. Now we'll win the next turn. Um, his turn 12. He shouldn't be doing anything crazy. Yeah, we don't need to heal. Use magic. We'll just get uh, goes back into into play here. It's just my condition. We can just defend out right there. And then you know we can just get take care of him right now as far as this bullshit. And it's also too, I think, because the other thing that could suck is that um, I think is that he has a 50% threshold. And I think that's why we passed that. We took maybe a little extra damage as far as that goes. Um, and again, better reason to have like your your friend uh, having more wind resist because you know some of the stuff happens. Spirit, however, but we're, we're gonna win this one now. Just make sure we're good with ice. So it's not a silly mistake we're making. Yeah, ice. Ice. 
Let's kill it. Bring jackpot. Do I have jackpot up now? Whatever. Exit, exit, exit. Get out of this. And again, there's no time limit as far as it goes, so. Um, you can take your turn time here and you know just keep doing your limit bursts and stuff like that if you need to and summon your aspirators or whatever but this guy's going down and the last thing he's gonna do is lights out which um, is a um, unresistible death as far as that goes that's why you can't do the mission of clearing it up being KO'd because um, every time you kill him, and that's why you keep him around, is that every time you kill him, he kills somebody, and you can't avoid it, um, as far as that goes, so, that's why you have to do it all in three turns, if you're trying to do this, uh, without that, with that mission, so, and, lights out, and, Warrior Dawn took the damage. Alrighty, there's the fight, got three more guys in the place here, that's why, like, Ace is so clutch, and there's just, having people re-raise as if they go down, get them back up and going. So that is the not toying around, elf off the handle situation. Um, I'm looking forward to clearing it with more people. Woo! But hopefully this helps. Hope I didn't ramble on too much, but we'll catch you next time. Danny Fresh is out. Okay, bye!